This is the future. Evolution. This is the future. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel and <laughs> this is the Kosa project number one. So yesterday I started to do some repairs on the Corsa. As you guys can see the bumper is falling off so I have to repair that we also had a, a couple of other issues like the windscreen needs to be replaced and so on and so forth so yesterday I started with rotation of wheels we rotated the tires yesterday oh this is Jackson hi Jackson we rotated the tires yesterday and we did wheel alignment yesterday so now for the first time in a long time the tires are actually going in a straight line and it's been rotated so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info while the wheels were off yesterday morning, I quickly checked the front brakes. The new discs that we installed a few months ago are still looking very good. The brake linings are still good, so we don't have to do anything at the front, but uh, that is uh, to do with brakes, but the rear brakes. The rear brakes has been finished for almost two years now that I didn't have time, money, or the correct space to replace the brakes because at Goldwag and they keep on giving me the wrong freaking shit they give me this thin little pads instead of the broad ones that's on here and I had to wait until we had a place that actually had uh, the big pads so today we're going to replace the rear brakes I know I've done it before I think I've shown you guys before but I'm just going to show you how bad these brakes are okay so I've cleaned everything here, I've cleaned the spares, the brake shoes on this side wasn't too bad, it's all finished on this side, and then it gets a bit broader, but yeah, the shoe is basically done, so, uh, to give you a comparison, this is the new shoes, so let's put the new shoes in, okay guys, so now I have packed new grease, Everything is clean, the new brake shoes are on, all the springs are in the correct places. Um, I've cleaned the hub, so now we have to adjust the brakes. So the best way is just to put it on, see how loose it is. It should turn by hand, but not be solidly on, okay? You should still be able to turn it by hand. So adjusting the brakes is actually difficult. <laughs> I never get that thing quite right because sometimes you put it on it's too loose you adjust it a bit more you get it on but then you can't get it off because it's biting on the shoes getting it getting it off to readjust is always a pain in the ass and unfortunately these cars are not like some of the Toyota buckets Toyota buckets sometimes has a, a hole at the back that you can put the screwdriver through and you can adjust it from outside to make it smaller or bigger which makes it so much easier to adjust but for this car you have to adjust it a little bit put it on feel take it off adjust a little bit put it on, feel, and so on. And that's what is a real pain in the ass. So what I normally do is, I put it on until I can feel it's just, just biting on, the, on it, take it off, then I adjust it one or two up, and I put it back. And then, um, yeah, I hope for the best. <laughs> and that's the way I do it. And there we go. There's our second brake done. Nice and neat and clean. So now, all we have to do is the adjustment again. I think I under adjusted the other side um, because it felt nice, it felt good and I adjusted it up and when I tightened the wheel I was able to turn the wheel while the handbrake was up. Well maybe because I was standing outside I didn't pull the, the handbrake high enough. Plus obviously this side was finished so I couldn't pull the handbrake up equally as strong as I should have or wanted so we'll only know once this one is adjusted and up. 
and then we'll have to test it and see if the brakes are working fine. But so far everything is looking really good. I'm, I'm very pleased. Okay guys, so I took the car for a drive, came back, this one was a bit too loose, so I took the wheel off again, I adjusted the brakes up again by about three turns, now this one is better. Okay guys, so I tested the wheels out, the brakes are working fine, the wheels are fine, and then today I replaced the windscreen, so yay, no more cracks. And of course, when you have to replace the windscreen, I want to replace my wiper blades. So, let's quickly see how we can replace wiper blades. It's actually so, so easy. Just push it down and it comes right out. This is the easiest thing to change in the world. But sometimes, for some reason, some people find it the most difficult to change. Just pick it up and it's out. And now we just put the new ones in. Now if you see here, ah, focus, focus on the wrong thing, there's a little hole here, if you, that hole is for this plastic clip, there's like a plastic clippy in here that sometimes clips right in that hole but it, it doesn't always last, <laughs> so as you guys can see it's got a bend, and that bend is going to go <coughs> around that bend. Uh, so let's see. We are going to. Uh, so we're going to slide it in and pull it up, and there it's slipped. There's your new wiper blade in. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Wiper blade one done. Same thing with this side. We take the wiper blade, slide it in, we slide it in, and we pull it upwards till it clips. Done. Second wiper blade in. Job complete. The next repair that I need to do is right there. As you guys can see, this whole war has got was worn out, basically worn out. So what that is for is for this boot shock for the nipple, like we call it a nipple, or ball joint or ball whatever, where the boot shocks come into. I had to take the car to the panel beaters where they placed this insert in for me with a rivet nut and we were able to put the nut back and then I was able to put the new shocks in place. So this is how we repaired the boot shocks. Fine, but then I found a hole of water in the wheel well that didn't drain. So I uh, opened up the drain plug. I'll put the drain plug black now. Um, it was painted on so bad that I couldn't get it out. But this thing was freaking up to about a year with water. I don't know where the water comes from. Probably when it rains, it's, this boot is leaking in, probably. But shit, man. Um, there was too much water. So uh, look at this. Look at all this water. So at least uh, I drained it now. I'm gonna clean it out now and make it dry and put everything back. Even this carpet now um, is rotten. Look at that. This thing is now a freaking waste. But yeah, it's an old car, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. But still. Uh, something to look at in the future but the boot shocks is done all that remains now is the engine top and the service in the next video removing the cam box and taking it for welding so guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up remember to subscribe to this channel so you can get notified of when this video is gonna drop and remember whatever you do keep it safe until next time Cheers.